sweet friends. Welcome back to the phonics classroom. I'm excited about today's video. We're going to be learning something brand new and it's going to be so much fun. Before we jump in, I have a question for you. How many letters are in our alphabet? Yes, there are 26 letters in our alphabet and we have two different types of letters. There are consonants and there are Vowels, that's right. Can we name the five vowels? I know you can. Here we go. A, E, I, O, and U. That's right. There are five vowels in our alphabet. So what do we call all of the other letters that are not vowels? Yes, we call them consonants. Excellent. What is the initial letter in our alphabet? A, that's right. What is the final letter in our alphabet? Z, you're right again. Do you guys remember what we call all of the letters that come between A and Z? We call them medial letters. Medial is just a big fancy first grade word for middle. So all of those letters that come between A and Z are medial letters. Very good. We're gonna say the alphabet today. We're not gonna sing it. We're going to say each letter. Ready? Starting with A and going all the way to Z. Here we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Excellent job! Okay, sweet friends, so we're going to jump right on into our worksheet today by practicing some of those letter sounds we've been learning. So we're going to start right here with number one. I'm going to say a letter sound, and we're going to write the letter or letters that make that sound. Here we go. Our letter sound for number one is I. I. Wonderful. For number two, our letter sound is K. K. So we know that K can make K, C can make K, and CK can make K. Excellent. Number three, our letter sound is T. T. So we all know that letter T can make T. And last week, we learned that the suffix E, D can make the T sound. Wonderful. Number three, our letter sound is D. D. Excellent. For number four, our letter sound is D. D. So we know that letter D can make D. And we also learned that the suffix E, D can make the D sound. Wonderful! Number five. Our letter sound is E. E. So we know that letter E can make the E sound and the digraph E, E that we learned last week can also make that E sound. Wonderful! Number six. Our letter sound is E. E. Letter E makes the E sound. For number seven, our sound is ng. Ng. We learned that digraph N G can make the ng sound. For number eight, our letter sound is th. Th. T H makes the th. Sound. Fabulous! Number nine, our letter sound is B. B. 
Letter B makes the B sound. Great job. Last one, number 10. Our letter sound is That's the unvoiced sound that TH can make. We know TH makes th and the voiced and unvoiced. Wonderful job! Put your finger by number 11. We're going to practice writing some words. For number 11, we're going to write the word three. Three. So I hear r, and then I hear that e sound. So we're going to use that digraph, that double e Digraph to spell that E sound at the end of that word. Three. Wonderful. Number 12. We're going to spell the word landed. Landed. Oh, I'm hearing that ed suffix at the end. So let's start by writing the root word land. L-E-N-D. But my word wasn't land, my word was landed. So I had to add that ed suffix at the end to spell the word landed. Excellent! Okay, sweet friends, so I have written two words up here on the board. We have the word can and the word napkin. So I want us to think about how these words are alike. What in these words do you notice that are the same? <gasps> yes, you're right. They both have the k sound. The word can starts with k, and the word napkin has the k in the middle. They also both have letter A, and they both have letter N. At the end of the word, they both have letter N. So that's another way that these two words are similar. How are these two words different? Yes, one is a short word and the other is a longer word. They also have different letters. This word has a C, this word does not. And this word has an A as its vowel. This word also has an A, but this word has an I as well. It has two vowels this word only has one vowel. So today we're learning something special about words that have more than one vowel. Anytime we add a second vowel to the word, it adds another syllable. So this word is napkin. Clap that word with me. Napkin. Napkin has two syllables. That's right. Because what the first part of its word has a vowel and the second part of this word has a vowel. Nap, kick, has two parts. So let's try this out with some different words. I'm going to say a word and I want you guys to echo it behind me. And we're going to clap every time we hear a vowel sound. So my first word is bandit. Bandit. Oh, I heard the a ah in band and the I in dit. Bandit has two vowel sounds, so that means it has two syllables. Let's try another one. Sunshine. Sun, shine. Sunshine has two syllables. Very good. And it also has two vowel sounds. Sun has the uh sound. Shine has the I sound. Sunshine. Excellent. Let's try the word mat. Mat. I'm only hearing one syllable. Mat has one vowel sound, the a ah sound. So that means it only has one syllable. Let's look back up here at the word can. Can you guys help me code this word? Is my vowel going to be short or long? What do you guys think? Yes, it's going to be short. So I am going to code my vowel with a short symbol because it's making the a ah sound. I'm also going to draw that k back on my c because it's making the k sound. Very good. How many vowels? 
vowels are in the word can. One vowel, you're right. There's only one vowel in this word. So that means it's gonna have how many syllables? Yes, one. It has one vowel, so that means it has one syllable. Let's look at the word napkin. Let's code the vowels in this word. Letter A is making what sound, short or long? Yes, it's making the short A ah sound, napkin. Let's look at the I in this word, napkin. Is it making the short or the long sound? Yes, it is also making the short I sound. So there are two vowels in this word and they're each making their own sound. So let's clap this word and see how many syllables it has. Napkin. Napkin. Napkin has two syllables because it has two vowel sounds. So when a word has more than one vowel sound, we separate it into syllables and we call this syllable division because we are dividing the two syllables. Let me ask you this. Does the word napkin have a suffix on it? No, it doesn't. It just has the two syllables that are in the word. No suffix is on the end. Is there anything else we need to do to code the word napkin? Are there any K backs we need to code? No. Are there any twin or double consonants in this word? No, none of those either. So that means that this word, we've coded the obvious things. We've done the obvious coding. The vowels, things like K-backs, stuff that we can see. So now we're gonna code the letters in this word. We're gonna mark them as either vowels or consonants. Help me out. Is N a vowel or a consonant? A consonant. Is A a vowel or a consonant? A vowel, you're right. What about P? Is P a vowel or a consonant? Consonant, that's right. And K is also a consonant. What about I? Is that a vowel or a consonant? Vowel. And N is a consonant, that's right. So I have written either C or V under every letter in this word to remind myself if it's a vowel or a consonant. So now we can look at this word and see what kind of pattern we have. This word has vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel. So we call this a V, C, C, V word because it's vowel, two consonants, and another vowel. So we're gonna draw our division line to separate the two syllables in this word. So we always draw our division line between the two consonants. So we wanna make sure that one half has a vowel and the other half has its own vowel. So we're gonna draw our division line right between those two consonants because this is its own half with its own vowel, and this is its own half with its own vowel. So I drew my line right between the C, C and my V, C, C, V word. So let's read the first part of this word and stop at our division line. Ready? Nap, nap. Now let's read the second part of this word, starting after our division line. Ready? K in, kin, nap, kin, napkin. So looking back at our worksheet, we're gonna pick up with number 13. We're gonna spell a word, are you ready? We're gonna spell the word insect. In, set, okay? So I hear the I sound first. In. Then I hear set. Sec. In. Set. So if I were going to draw 
draw my division line on this word, I would draw it after the first syllable. If I'm clapping that word out, my first syllable is in. In set. In set. So I'm going to draw my division line between my N and my X, between those two consonants. Excellent. Let's look down at number 14 and practice coding the word rabbit. Rabbit. All right, so let's start by finding our vowels. And we're going to mark them with that little V we learned about. So I know A is a vowel. So I'm going to write a little V underneath. I also know that I is a vowel. So I'm going to write another V underneath letter I. Then I'm going to label the letters in between my two vowels. I know B is a consonant, so I'm putting a C under both of those Bs. Excellent! Now let's go back and code our vowel. R -ab it. Well, I know my vowel has a consonant after it, so it must be making the short sound. And again, my I also has a consonant after it, so it's also making the short sound. And the last step on this word is to draw my division line to separate this half of my word from this half of my word. So I'm going to draw my line between the two consonants. And don't forget, we need to cross out the B, one of our Bs, because we don't want to make two B sounds. We only want to make one. So we divided that word, labeled our letters, coded our vowels, and crossed out one of our consonants. Excellent job! All right, sweet friends, I want you guys to try coding numbers 15 and 16 and then flip your paper over and try the back on your own. Can't wait to see all of your fabulous work, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for another phonics lesson. Bye, my friends.